Next in this series, we have session number six on Revolve, and I am Trisha from Product Labs to walk you through this process. Let us take some time to define Revolve process in four easy points. First, Revolve is a process of creating 3D geometry by rotating its 2D cross-section about an imaginary axis. Second, Revolve is widely used when we need to create a round cylindrical parts. Third, unlike an extrude, it helps to reduce the numbers of features in model tree as we can deal with multiple round geometries in one single feature. Fourth, we can either add or delete material by this process. So stay tuned and explore more on Revolve process next in the series. We'll start by opening a new part file. Continue with default selections in the type and subtype menus. Name the file as Revolve Learning. Uncheck Use Default Template and say OK. Select MMNS underscore part underscore solid option from the list and click on OK. Click on Revolve button from top ribbon menu. Now, click on Placement and then Define. Here, we need to sketch the cross-sectional two-dimensional profile of the object to be created by Revolve feature. Now, select Front Plane as Sketching Plane and keep the sketch orientation as default and click on Sketch button to proceed. Click on Sketch View button in Quick Launch Area. This makes sketching plane parallel to the screen. Now right click and hold to select Axis of Revolution option from the pop-up menu. Next, draw a vertical line which could act as an axis. Once revolution axis is defined, we need to sketch the cross-section profile of revolved geometry. For this, select the line option from menu ribbon and draw a sketch as shown here. You can follow the drawing provided in the drawing book for the dimensions. Once sketch is completed, press OK. Now the revolved geometry is ready. Next, press Ctrl plus D to fit the part in the screen. By default, Creo took the angle of revolution as 360 degree, which can be adjusted by adjusting this regular dimension in the model itself. Or we can give input for the revolve angle here in this box. Once angle is provided, click on OK to complete the operation. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into the screen. To perform revolve cut operation once again, we'll click on revolve button in the top menu bar. Now, click on Placement and define the Revolve Cut Sketch. Select the front plane as Sketching Plane and leave Sketch Orientation as default. And click on Sketch button to proceed. Now, 
click on sketch view button to make the sketching plane parallel to the viewing screen. Change the display style to no hidden from quick launch area. This helps to draw the sketch in better and comfortable way. Now right click and select the option axis of revolution from the menu. Draw a vertical axis through the center which would act as an axis for revolve cut. Now select the option line from top menu bar and draw revolve cut profile. Once sketch is complete, click on OK button at top right corner. By default, Creo takes 360 degree angle for revolve which can be changed as per requirement. Display style can also be changed as we desire from quick launch area. Click on OK now to complete the revolve cut operation. Model can be saved now. Welcome back guys. Trust that Revolve Learning was fun. Let us do an exciting practice exercise and create the object displayed on my left side. So let's begin. This is the drawing of the part we are going to model using Revolve function. Let us open the part file. To make the modeling simple, we have divided this model into three steps. Step 1 is to create cylinder with chamfer at both edges. Step 2 is to create revolve cut at the center. Step 3 is to create through hole from top till bottom. Now we'll open a new solid part file to create this model and name it Revolve Practice. Uncheck the Use Default Template option and say OK. Select the option MMNS underscore part underscore solid and click OK. Turn on all the datums, planes and coordinate system by clicking in this checkbox. Now select the revolve option from top menu bar and click on placement and then define. Select front plane as sketching plane and leave the sketch orientation as default. Now click on sketch button to proceed. Click on sketch view button in quick launch area. This makes the sketching plane parallel to viewing screen. Now right click anywhere in the graphical window area and select axis of revolution option. Draw the vertical axis passing through coordinate system. 
Now, sketch the section AA profile of the cylinder as per the drawing shown earlier. You may refer your drawing book also. Follow the dimensions shown in the drawing book. Ensure that sketch is constrained completely while sketching. Once sketch is complete, click on OK button at the top right corner. Press Ctrl plus D to make the model fit into screen. Click on OK to complete step 1. Now, switch off all the datum planes and coordinate system. As a step 2, we need to create revolve cut at the center of this cylinder. So, We'll again click on Revolve button in the top menu. Now, click on Placement and then Define. Select Front Plane as Sketching Plane. Selection can be done from Model Tree also. Leave the Sketch Orientation as default and click on Sketch button to proceed. Click on Sketch View button to make sketch plane parallel to viewing screen. Now, right click in the graphical area and select the option Axis of Revolution. Draw the vertical axis of revolution passing through the center of cylinder. Once again, right click in the graphical area and select the option References from pop-up menu. Now, select Top Horizontal and Vertical Edges to define references. Now, draw a Revolve Cut Profile at the center. Please follow your drawing book for the dimensions and constraints. Segments which are not required can be deleted now. Now, dimension the width of the slot. Position the sketch in such a way that it moves at the center. Once sketching is complete, come out of sketching mode and click on OK button on the top right corner. Now, we can see that Revolve Cut is formed at the center. Change the cut angle from here. Or from here by giving the angle input. Change the angle to 360 degrees as per drawing.
We can see preview by clicking on this button. By clicking on this button, we can go back to edit mode. Click on OK button to finish this step. This completes the step 2. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into the screen. Now, we'll proceed to step 3, which is to create hole at the center. Once again, click on Revolve button. And then click on Placement and Define. Define the sketching plane and orientation. And click on Sketch button to proceed further. Hide all the planes and axes. And change the display to No Hidden. Define the axis of revolution as we did earlier. Define references for the sketch. Click on Sketch button to proceed further. Draw the revolve cut profile for the hole to be made. Dimension it as per the dimensions given in the drawing book. Give the constraints as needed to complete the sketch. Once sketch is done, click on OK button to complete this step. You can notice that default option here is remove material. Change the display to shaded with edges. Press Ctrl plus D to fit the model into screen. Check the model in preview mode by clicking on this icon. If everything is OK, click on OK button to complete the model. This is the end of step 3 and model creation. Now, save the model. With this, we have completed the session on Revolve. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.